Sabrina Carpenter hit back at judgmental moms who go to her concerts and then criticize her for wearing revealing lingerie outfits during her shows. This is a uniquely feminine thing to like <laughs> go and judge a person and pay money to judge them. You're paying money to judge this woman and she's the only person who benefits in this situation. But as you can see in this photo here, this is the typical garb that Sabrina is wearing during her concerts. Mm -hmm. She's on tour right now for short and sweet. And she wears these bedazzled uh, body suits with stockings and garters and thigh highs. And she wears the same stuff in her music videos. She has vulgar lyrics. She makes vulgar jokes. But she has a very innocent Polly Pocket persona as well. Interesting. Never heard that before. Like people mm. have pointed out the dissonance between Sabrina Carpenter uh, having these vulgar lyrics and this sexualized persona, but still primarily appealing to a female audience. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there was some. Well, here's the thing. It's pop music. It's never been a male demographic ever. Right. It's yeah. just not. Right. Like none of these artists, male or female, like nobody who listened to NSYNC when I was a kid was a dude. <laughs> like maybe when they got older, ironically or something, or like you'd have the people who'd be like, oh, I kind of liked it. And then they have to admit later that they did. But they weren't the ones who were expected to go out and get posters signed or go to their concerts live. Right. Definitely. That, is, that comes with the territory. Demographic. Um, but it is interesting when you compare it to Taylor Swift, for instance, who wears things very similar to what we just saw in that photo. No garter, though. But without garter's the stockings. Doing all, garter's doing all the lifting on that one. I, it must be. Yeah. Or there's just something in their personalities that's different. Or it's the fact that Taylor looks like one of those wacky, wavable, inflatable tube people when she walks. So it <laughs> just doesn't have the same She doesn't thing. have the dance moves. No. It's rough. Uh, in a cover story with Time Magazine, Sabrina Carpenter opened up about how incorporating her sexuality into her work has resulted in vilification that Britney Spears and Christina Aguilera have experienced over the years. Mm -hmm. um, she says she gets the same type of commentary. She believes pop stars before her, including Spears, Aguilera, Rihanna, and Madonna, have helped make progress, but there are still a few critics who remain, particularly when it comes to her costumes. She Are said, they expecting there to be a day where there will just be zero people? <laughs> is that, I'm, I'm yeah, just, that's what I'm they're expecting curious. is we're going to live in a utopia where no the, one ever criticizes anything you do, say, or wear. It's the same argument that people have when they talk about social causes. Like, there's just more work there's to do. There's always more work to be done. Until the day that every woman can go out a little bit whorish and not get you know, criticized, <laughs> we've got more work to do. I mean, I or see crazier just, stuff than this exactly. in like everyday club where you'd see in Miami. My right? point wasn't to be vulgar to them. The point is to say, dress however you want and expect the criticism because that's what the real world is. I mean, watch these streetwear videos from Manchester. All of these women who are out at 3 a.m. Yeah. dressed even crazier than this photo. Yep. Um, but here she says, you'll still get the occasional mother that has a strong opinion on how you should be dressing. And to that, I just say, don't come to the show and that's okay. I at least appreciate her not saying that it was misogyny. <laughs> well, at least she's being honest that it's We're other making women. Progress. We're making are, progress. It's, it's primarily other women who are criticizing a, her a here. there's a huge lie if the idea is supposed to be that men everywhere are criticizing me for wearing gar a garter and thigh high stockings to my shows. <laughs> I don't think that's the demographic that's criticizing you. I just don't. Well, it's also ironic that she's pointing out it's mothers because mm. a lot of her fan base, I assume, are still children and teenagers who Not don't take themselves and don't pay for these concert tickets. She has to get the parents yeah. on her side. And Taylor Swift has definitely cornered that market. Yeah, she's, as the she's kid -friendly not wholesome. Pop star. She's not wholesome enough. I know somebody left a comment on a Twitter post the other day. It's like, why does everybody like every time you see the Taylor Swift is in the Illuminati posts or she's doing something satanic because she's wearing the hood. Mm -hmm. You know, we've even talked about that on the show and like the other two hours is her like helping disabled people <laughs> and, <laughs> and giving and giving gifts to children. So you can't win. Yeah, but she is the most family friendly pop star. Yes like that exists and people have gotten mad at me for saying that but it's true there's far well, worse be, that you uh, could be exposing your daughters to in this day and age than taylor swift yeah by far yeah. <laughs> and sabrina carpenter is definitely a little bit more sexualized than that 
I just find it funny because no matter how much things change, they just stay the same because this argument will be going on for the next 20 years and the next 20 years after that. The, the demographics of to, who's doing the complaining might shift. I guess the idea would have been 20 years ago when it, was con, when it was Christina Aguilera and Britney Spears, it was what, the moral majority Christian conservative moms that were complaining about it? But I highly doubt that the moral anymore. majority Christian conservative moms were at many Britney Spears concerts back in the day. No, now they're just paying money for the concerts and complaining about it. The, you know, they didn't have a chance to stop by a Target and ask to talk, talk to the manager. So they have to <laughs> then go and complain to Sabrina Carpenter. I guess Sabrina is the, the manager. I just now. feel very divorced from all of this because as a dude, you're just like, yeah, I, I don't know about. OK, any think of about it. Okay. Hypothetically, you have a 13 year old daughter who wants to go to the Sabrina Carpenter concert. Her mom is taking her. <laughs> But you're okay with her going? Um, I'm going to, I'm going to, yes. I would ask, I would ask the mom to look into mm. it and, and figure out whether H it's. Have you heard these outros that Sabrina writes yes. for nonsense? Yeah. Well, that's, okay, here's the other thing. Like you're asking that, but is the, when you ask the question, like, would you be okay with her going to these concerts? Most parents aren't going to go do a yeah. deep dive. They're not going to yeah. put on their monocle and go look into every aspect of her. They're going to listen to maybe a couple of the song lyrics. And as long as it's not too objectionable, they'll say, Okay, go ahead. I think it's crazy that they're complaining about the outfits and not the lyrics. Yeah, I don't like the these lyrics outros, are worse, right? She has this hit song called Nonsense mm -hmm. and she retired this uh, mm -hmm. recently, but for a long time when she was opening for Taylor Swift on the Eras tour, she wrote a new outro for the song on every stop of the tour mm -hmm. that was personalized to the city that they stopped in. And she would rhyme it with some insanely vulgar sexual innuendo every well, then you night. Don't, then you shouldn't be letting your 13-year-old daughter go to that. That's thing. not what's receiving criticism. Like, yeah. that's crazy to me. Like, if, if uh, I was the, if I let my daughter go and do that, I would then be upset if I was there and heard that, right? Sure. But the, as, a, as a dad, you wouldn't want to see And then you're like, that's it. Either. We're going to Olivia Rodrigo. You and then, then she just hands out Plan B pills to your daughter. <laughs> like, you cannot escape it. You cannot well, yeah, escape it anymore. The only other option is like okay who is there any christian pop stars <laughs> <sighs> is flyleaf still around yeah take that, a flyleaf concert that time that era is yeah. long gone it's, uh, and, okay if you're a dad and you take your 13 year old daughter to this concert and you see her in that outfit yeah it's gonna be uncomfortable it's right. gonna be uncomfortable and you're gonna be right. weirded out right and you wouldn't feel uncomfortable you, at the taylor swift concert you would not for what it's worth correct unless they're screaming f the patriarchy I, okay, so then you, uh, I'm going to put you on the spot then. You have to have a choice. F the patriarchy, uh, whorish nightgown, or plan B pills for your daughter. <laughs> I have to pick one. You have to pick one of the three. This is like the worst F Mary kill ever. Yep. I was just, I don't know. I think I'm going to be that draconian mom. No, mm. just no to all of it. It's going to be worse by the time I have to consider these things anyway. The culture is already down the tubes, but it's going to be straight down to hell from here and no dessert unless you finish your dinner and make sure you get your homework done <laughs> that i would care a lot less about actually okay wait why i don't know i mean see when i was young it was uh, uh you had to finish your, have you ever I, seen the memes it's, it's like that's way me, less important than the media your kids are consuming right <laughs> me at 13 like uh when i won't finish my dinner for africa <laughs> because you have to because they're starving kids in africa that's for what me, every, it was china every oh not, not my enough. generation every kid my age was guilted into finishing their dinner because there were starving kids <laughs> in africa i don't I, I was never actually thoroughly explained by either of my yeah. parents <laughs> why me finishing my dinner did anything for starving kids in Africa, but I suppose it was the principle of the matter. Right, exactly. Yeah. No, I mean, my parents never like hounded me about my grades. Yeah. I was just. Yeah, was, but you were a good, my parents had to hound me about my grades. You did. <laughs> you're like, you were a good student. I was not. You had other things to do. Yes, I was You had busy. more important things to do. Well, I was, uh, yeah. Well, also like when you play sports, grades have right. to reach a certain level anyways otherwise you're discouraged from playing right exactly yep. thanks for watching listen to full episodes of pop culture crisis on spotify keep up with us on social media and make sure you subscribe and ring that bell so you never miss the show bye guys